guys, hi, before we get into this video, eating on a budget, um, I just wanted to give a quick reminder that we have a Patreon that we're very active on. It's patreon.com slash just Trish. And we post eight exclusive videos there a month. We post a bonus episode to our podcast. It's like about an hour. And then we always do like a bonus, like mukbang. I just did a Fortnite uh, video. So if you guys want to join, patreon.com slash just Trish. Um, but I wanted to put this at the beginning of this video because um, we're getting ready to send out headshots our signed headshots right here. And um, you get, if you're in the headshot tier, you get a new headshot every month. This is our gender reveal headshot plus a Trish Moji sticker. This month we have the praying hands Trish Moji sticker. This comes in our headshot tier and our producer tier. You have to sign up by the 10th of the month and then we ship on the 15th of the month. So you have until February 10th to get this month's headshot and um, sticker. And it's uh, for the headshot tier. The producer tier gets all of this, plus you get a handwritten cue card for me that I use during the show. And this month we're doing a Valentine card. I did a special Valentine's photo shoot and you'll be getting that in the mail. So I'm just about to go through more of these headshots and start signing them. But I absolutely love you guys over on Patreon and patreon.com slash just Trish. And I signed them all with love. And I actually have so much fun doing this when I was um, a kid, I used to love getting headshots in the mail. I would write like addresses all the time to get headshots. So it's super fun. Hi, Mimi. You want to come sign a headshot? Come here. You want to sign one? Malibu loves to assist. You want to sign a headshot? Come here. No? Okay. She's going to go get some food. Um, we just did our podcast today, so finishing that up. <laughs> what? Are you laughing at mommy? What is that? Open? What are you eating? Um, and I have a lot of fun doing this and we always come up with new little bonus items, but you actually get a little letter from me in the mail, which I think is super fun. And our uh, producer tiers have pink envelopes. Those are our headshot tiers. So it makes it a little different. Where's the baby? <gasps> Do you want to sign it? You want to sign it? Come here. What is that? Oh, your little food. Okay, you can have the food. Um, so yeah, this is, there's our producer, one of our producers right there, signed up on the producer tier. <laughs> and we had a really good show today. It was really fun. And yeah, we're putting a lot of effort into our Patreon because you guys are so amazing and the support has been just overwhelming. So, um, we're actually going to film the extended podcast tomorrow. So it's almost like this bonus episode we're filming. Um, Oscar's been so busy with, um, like award show season because he has a full-time job, believe it or not. <laughs> and so we're always lucky to have time with him, but he's gonna come back and um, film extra for the Chinese New Year. We'll do a little Chinese mukbang and do an excited podcast. So looking forward to that. And yeah, thank you guys for all the support on the podcast and on this channel. And I just love you guys so much. So yeah, February 10th to sign up to get all these. Um, we got the Valentine cards coming and uh, yeah. All right, love you guys. All right, guys, I have my Five Nights at Freddy jacket on because we just filmed three FNAF videos. I guess two. I think we're going to combine the first two. Uh, two FNAF videos for our Patreon. Um, and in the last one, I was signing headshots for our headshot tier and our producer tier. And I didn't get to show you guys the Valentine's. The Valentine's came in. Um, this video will go up on February 9th. You have until February 10th to sign up till I think like 11.59 p.m. on February 10th. And we will ship these out on February 15th. And these are the Just Trish Valentine card. I wrote a special note on the back for you guys. And this will go in our producer tier. So our producer tier will include the headshot, the sticker. You'll get a handwritten cue card from our show. Plus this month you'll get a special Valentine in the mail. Producers, I also ask for questions for the podcast. And I like to have you guys be involved and give me like topics for the podcast. So yeah, I wanted to show these. I thought they were so cute. So you can go to patreon.com slash just Trish. You have about 48 hours from <laughs> the time of me posting this to um, sign up to get our Valentine. I do not sell the headshots individually. I don't sell the stickers individually. Um, they're kind of just like a fun little bonus perk package for supporting the podcast. So yeah, our Valentine's just Trish out now and um, yeah, enjoy the video. Today's eating on a budget. This is like a dollar lunch right here. I think Wendy's has a dollar baked potato. And I crave baked potatoes so much when I'm pregnant, including the skin. It's so yummy. It takes literally, I mean, it takes an hour to make me just put olive oil, salt, pepper. 
and pop it in the oven. So this is my little lunch before we do our podcast today. I'm celebrating the Chinese New Year. I got the dragon. This is Versace dragon sweater, Kate Spade dragon necklace, Kate Spade dragon earrings. Mm. And it's so good. I literally go to Red Lobster to get a baked potato and then I'm like, wait, I can make these at home. <sighs> Wild morning already. But the eating on a budget's been doing really, really great. And it's why I can afford a Versace sweater because I'm eating a baked potato for my meal. Mm. I put two in just in case, but one usually does the trick. Dolly Parton always says, never met a spud. I didn't like that. It's always a little chaotic in our house before filming podcast. Um, but um, Moses went out to go get some food. And Malibu is due for her nap, but she is, she's tired, but she just is fighting it. And then me, how am I doing? Well, I woke up to my name trending, which I'm always a little, a little anxious about. Um, look, <clears throat> here's the thing. I can lean into the Queen Elizabeth meme because my daughter was, you know, she was born around the same time Queen Elizabeth passed. But it's like a little weird. And maybe I'm just like by myself. So I'm taking this a little bit more serious and it should be more, I should kind of like lean into it as being like a joke. But my name was trending with King Charles' name. And I'm talking about my baby being reincarnated because King Charles was diagnosed with prostate cancer. And it's like sad. Like, I get it. I get why people don't like the royal family. King Charles, I get it. But I think when anyone's sick, you should just like, like let them have their peace. But at the same time too, like let my baby have my peace. You know, <laughs> like I just don't really get my connection to this. And like some people you're like, oh, Trisha's womb cursing the royal family. Sorry if it bothers anyone that I'm eating with my teeth. I'm just trying not to ruin. I have a matte lip today, so I can't really touch it up. <laughs> it just can feel like a lot. I think when I'm pregnant too, I have such like high emotions when hormones are running. And so I just, I really do try to protect my baby's peace. I try to meditate. I try to really, you know, um, and it's like, no matter what I say, I really feel like it's weirdly karmatic for me. And like, that's why I believe karma is real because I trolled for so long, right? Like 2012 Trish would like love this attention. Oh, I'm trying to even do anything. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, my baby's so famous. But it's like, <laughs> I'm just not that person anymore. But now the internet's like trolling me. <laughs> and granted, it's it's relatively lighthearted on my end because obviously like, I'm not the one that's sick or anything like that like that. But sometimes that does what comes around goes around. And I feel like I've never really been trolled and the internet like trolling me I don't know <laughs> it can be a lot and again maybe I'm taking this like so serious because it's like I'm kind of only reflecting with myself because I got glam this morning and obviously like glam we're just talking about like the Grammys or like something cute I don't even know what to talk about on Hot Topics today maybe um but anyways <laughs> This skin is really good. It really is. Just a little olive oil, a little salt and pepper. Stick it with some fork holes, you're good. Mm. I've been loving eating at home. feels so good we did do raisin canes for like a little valentine's day mukbang i like literally did not 
keep me full. I was hungry like 30 minutes later. Like it just, their chicken got smaller. I love Ranger Gains. I think they have the best quality chicken. But they used to have like big chicken fingers. They were like actually so small. <laughs> but that was really the only fast food we've eaten recently. Sometimes I'll crave like an In-N-Out burger, but just the burgers. Mm. But. Potatoes are so cheap. Like who knew potatoes were like a dollar? They're so cheap. And so, oh, people were asking me where I got a dollar frozen pizza. <laughs> I was talking about it on TikTok. They're like an off-brand like Red Baron or something like that. They're like a dollar, maybe a little more than a dollar. Groceries are getting more expensive, so there's that, but so is like, I'm so pink today. <laughs> pink vibes. I'm also like, it's such a weird thing. My, my throat feels like, not sore, like sick, but just like, I feel like it could be. I don't know, it's really weird, so I'm trying to like, preserve my voice because I have to talk for two hours for podcasting. But yeah, I know my lunches kind of seem like small, but I kind of like snack a little bit. Like what did I have? Oh, I did have a Valentine's Day donut this morning. Usually I have like toast or egg, like my egg sandwich. Um, and then I have like a little snack, like sometimes I'll have like a banana or something. So this kind of is like a little snack, but it's also like my lunch because it's like warm. I was thinking if it's warm food, it's lunch. <laughs> and then we'll have dinner after. Mm. Yeah, so like I showed you last night, my spaghetti bolognese. We usually do cook for dinner. I usually forget to film but it's, it's a lot of the same stuff you guys already saw the the baked chicken with potatoes um it's so good that's like one of the most recipe um we do the bolognese we love a quesadilla i didn't film that we had that for lunch yesterday i didn't even film that but quesadillas are super like easy to make um a lot of the same stuff nothing like i see some people give me like lunch ideas like if you make this at home for a dollar fifty. It's like a beautiful sandwich. But I'm such a plain taste girl. So this fits my desires, my cravings, my everything. Cause can you like load a baked potato for like less? Like put chives and stuff. Yeah, of course. I, mean, I just love a plain baked potato. <laughs> Holly sent me this potato, baked potato purse. It was so cute. I don't know if I DM the person, but it was so cute on Instagram. It looks like such a realistic baked potato purse. Because when we went to the Madonna Inn, like, everyone ordered baked potatoes because that's, like, their signature thing there. And it was so, so good. <laughs> and I just got my plain butter. And it was heavenly. They put theirs in, like, gold foil. Mm, so, yeah. I think there's any nutritional value to eating the skin or am I just eating the skin because I'm hungry? Good. I know people don't like the scraping, but I don't want to eat the plastic fork. Alright. Eating on a budget. Um, so I think I've done this week. Like I'm really trying to add it up in my head. Like lunches are so cheap. My breakfast and lunches are literally like dollars. A couple dollars here, a couple dollars there. And I would say dinners. I'm just going on my I guess I could do it as like a whole family. Obviously, there's three of us eating in this house. Um, but this is strictly like for one person trying this, <laughs> not a toddler. And obviously, my husband, like he went out and got something. And my toddler obviously eats <laughs> a lot more variety. I'm doing this as like a single person, trying to budget. Um, and I really think like this week has been like, what is it, like $30 or something? And I eat a lot of pasta, so the pasta is very cheap. So it roughly comes to like eating a budget of like a $5 budget a day, which is pretty crazy. Water, 
expensive. So yeah, and that's my that's my budget friendly week. <laughs> if you guys like these videos, let me know. Um, like it was kind of like a challenge video, but not really because it's just kind of what I ate. And I was kind of like, I kind of eat. I can't eat on budget. I'm a cheap date. I don't drink alcohol either. So when we go out to eat, neither does my husband. Um, our bill is like 50 bucks going out to eat, which is like expensive, obviously. But um, I know some people when they go out to eat, it's like a couple hundred dollars. I'm like, well, get the drinks and all that stuff. Live your life. Enjoy your life. I think food is a necessity and it's a great luxury if you do go out. But um, yeah. If you want to try and save a little bit here and there, have a big potato for lunch. Hey guys, having another lunch at home. <laughs> having some warmed up baked ziti. So I did have fast food two days ago. I had an In-N-Out plain burger. Those have been so good lately. So I haven't been perfect, but I do much prefer eating at home. The warmed up ziti. You guys like my hair? You can see my hair today. <laughs> Let's see if I push you guys back a little bit. Oh, you can see it more there. Okay, there's my hair. Got my cup of water. Um, yeah. Doing a podcast episode today, so I had to do the pink cans. Of course. And this is so spicy, so my nose always runs. We had our 22-week appointment yesterday, ultrasound, and... The baby looks good. We got to see the baby's spine, the baby's face. We got to see a little bit of the nose, the mouth, the eyes. Our um, ultrasound we go to has like, you can see the chambers of like the brain and the heart and everything looks great. And honestly, when you're pregnant, that's all you can like ask for really is like, is the baby good? Is the baby healthy? And you're always like a little relieved when you leave, but I do have to go do my glucose test in a few weeks, gestational diabetes test. The test itself is awful because we can't eat before. And I'm always starving in the morning. And they open at 10, so like the earliest you can do it is like 10 o'clock. I'm like starving. And then you have to get the drink at the place, drink it, and then wait another hour. So you're really not eating till like noon, which is just really hard. But anyway, it's got my notes all ready for today. I'm pretty much all prepared. And I'm a huge fan of the person coming on today. So I did a little research, but I was like, no, I know the essence. I know how the vibes will be and it'll be immaculate. I don't even need to prepare that much. Hmm. Oh man, the nose is starting to run already. Other than that, there's a new batch that started. We haven't watched it. Doesn't look that interesting. We've been on the RuPaul Drag Race, watching the new season. And I'm really just going to bed early. <laughs> I haven't really been watching much movies or shows. Mm -hmm. It's so weird that when I did the ultrasound, the baby was like kicking so much <laughs> and I couldn't feel it. And they said my placenta is like, I forgot that they called it, but basically it's like, it's like a little pillow for so when the baby's like punching and kicking, <laughs> like I'm not feeling it right now. Like it could change. And trust me, I want to feel, I always want to feel my baby. You know, when you're pregnant and you like can't feel your baby, you're like, there's something wrong. So I want to feel her. <laughs> but maybe in a couple weeks, I'll start feeling her a little more. Nothing crazy though. Malibu was great. I just felt like slight little rolls. It was never anything crazy. So this one looks a little more feisty. <laughs> Malibu was always so still in the ultrasounds. Elvis looks definitely more like <laughs> she's moving. She's she's all over the place. So I feel like when I do feel the movements, it's gonna be like a bit more intense, maybe. <laughs> But she's definitely gonna be a May baby, so where are all my May babies at? I'm a May baby. <laughs> it's gonna come so fast.
and I'm so excited. The first one I was like scared because I was scared of like the labor and delivery and scared of like, what do you do with that baby? <laughs> but I feel like the second one we're like just so much more prepared, like especially because I feel like it's gonna be a C-section. We're gonna like try to go with a plant C-section unless she comes earlier. And then obviously we raised a baby. And when I look back at the newborn stage, I was like, oh, newborn stage is like, they just sleep and eat and like, that's it. <laughs> so I'm not like as overwhelmed, I'm like more excited. But I'll be sad if this is my last pregnancy. Like part of me is like trying to grasp that it could be like our last. Cause I don't know if we'll like actively try for a third, but also I don't know how like one or two is gonna go. So let's just see how that goes. <laughs> but in my heart, I already miss being pregnant. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna have a third pregnancy, but that just sounds, third pregnancy sounds great. Three children, we're outnumbered, <laughs> you know? But I like being, um, I was the middle child of three. So I don't know. We'll see, I'm not have to worry about it, but I'm like, in my head sometimes I'm like, okay, this could be the last pregnancy, like really enjoy it. Or the last baby stage. So I'm gonna just soak it all. Soak it all up. Mm, second day pasta. So good. Hopefully you guys are staying healthy. Everyone around me has been sick. Like people I've seen, people I know. Everyone's getting like a virus right now or an infection. I'm trying to stay healthy. I'm like, stay away. But is the season, I guess, right? Like cold season. Hmm. Last one. I hate this whole thing up. So good. Yummy. Thanks for having my little lunch slash snack at home. Let me know what else you guys eat at home because I know I've had this like twice now for my at-home meal. I got some peanut butter and banana. I thought about peanut butter banana toast, some avocado toast. But any other quick meals that aren't frozen, let me know because I'm very interested. Another cook from home meal. Sometimes we have these for lunch, but we're making them for dinner. And that is quesadillas, shredded cheese, we just made some chicken and vegetables, I seasoned it, Moses grilled it, we're in our comfy clothes, and uh, there's the chicken, there's the veggies, it smells so good, you tried it, mm -hmm. I make my little fajita with it, so, Chairs over there. Moses doesn't have a band camera, and then he has a cute shirt on. It's our comfy outfits. It's our night in. Okay. Should I get the orange plates? Oh, these are good. These are good. Maybe just another one. Not feel like a Friday. I think because we have so much going on this weekend, it's like. Oh, that's smart. Okay, I see what you did. I'll put this one in the microwave for the fajita. I'll just do a little trick like this. And do, uh, you doing cheese first? Do I do cheese? I forget how to yeah, do these. Yeah, cheese. What do you have? Oh, you have a queso blend. All right. Let's see, so I do a little shredded cheese. Mmm. We haven't made these in so long. Yeah, you remember. <laughs> so happy when he said this. I was like, yes. I kind of like don't know what to make anymore. I did think about our teriyaki steak bites and fried rice. Mm -hmm. I was kind of over it, but I was like, I guess that could be good again. 
for Valentine's Day, we're gonna make our bolognese <laughs> recipe. Keep talking about it. So I'll probably film that soon so you guys have someone to spend Valentine's Day with. Because our real Valentine's Day will be. Oh, another love is blind couple um was pregnant. Did you see? Yeah. Um, I actually followed them so that but then I saw it on like Twitter. Um, do you remember Alexa and Brennan? Yeah. They're pregnant. Wow. Everyone's pregnant. Sophia Richie's pregnant. Well, I guess when you're pregnant, you just notice maybe mm -hmm. everyone else pregnant. But Sophia Richie's due the same time I'm due with a baby girl. So, you know, play date. <laughs> I wonder, like, when you're that, like, rich, like, how play dates work. I mean, they can't go to... It's funny because I saw... Well, I won't say which celebrity, but I saw a celebrity's kid. I'll tell you after. Um, post at Candyland, like, on that, like, thing where you, like... For babies where they slide back, you know that one that kind of swings back and forth, that like big long thing in front of the trampoline. Oh, yeah. So they posted that they were Candyland, but I was like, there's no way that celebrity is just in Candyland. And there's no way they could even go in there like Sophia Richie or that, you know what I mean? Like there's just no way more because of their stature and stuff. So it's like... But did you see the parent or did you see just the kid? I just saw the kid. Which means the man. I mean, but does it? Because we take videos of... If the parents was there, they would show themselves. Mm. So you think, like, well, that's why I guess where I was going is, like, when you're at that level of, like, rich and famous, like, you really can't go out just because it's, like, a safety thing, right? Yeah, I think. They just have. But it's, like, sad because, like, maybe they want to. Like, I'm not even at that level, but sometimes I'm just, like, you know, especially, like, Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> you know, if I'm, like, tired when I was, like, when we were with your mom at Chuck E. Cheese and I'm, like, tired sitting... And then, like, people take pictures or whatever. It's just always, like, I don't know, it's a lot. It's, like, stressful because then you, like, think, oh, my God, where's this going to end up? Is it going to look like I'm just this mom that's just sitting on the side, you know? It's, like, a lot of, like, pressure. But but then when you're, like, that rich and that famous and it becomes, like, a thing, it's, like, you really can't go anyways. I don't know. But you want to, I would think. Anyways, if they want to play date, you can come here. But that's what I was saying, too. I was, like, maybe that's why Kardashians and stuff had all these, like, extravagant parties all the time so, like, kids can come and, like, just play with their kids there, I guess. I guess the Kardashian kids go out to Benihana, though, so I don't know. They seem to have friends come over. Yeah. I guarantee, I guarantee Kim Kardashian wasn't sitting at that table at Benihana with her kids, though. Not judging at all, obviously, because she's Kim Kardashian. But Benihana, you have to share a table. <laughs> and I just definitely can't picture her at a table with just random families. Because Benihana be having random people, including us. They have the most random... I'm so excited for this quesadilla. Yum. And then I make a little appetizer. A little fajita burrito. This smells so good. So it's basically the same thing. I just don't add the cheese in the microwave. But these are so good. It's red pepper, green pepper, and onions. And yes, Malibu's sleeping. So if you're wondering why this is ASMR. <laughs> Not that she can really hear us, but I guess kind of. She's upstairs. Alrighty. Put a little chicken in this. Chicken smells good. Alright, so then. This is our fajita night. <laughs> and yeah, we used to make these all the time. This might be a lot for one fajita, but. I mean, they just can't make fajitas like this at Taco Bell. You know what I'm saying? They can try, but I can't even close it. <laughs> mm. It's actually tastes so good. It's my little appetizer before the quesadilla. Mm. I actually had fast food for a collab video I did today. And it just does not hit the same home cooked food all the way. It's like so good. I was gonna say more affordable, but I don't know if it's more affordable because groceries are expensive these days, but it just tastes so much better. I need to pick the chicken pieces exactly 
how you want them. Because even at restaurants, sometimes they're like a little grisly. But this is perfect. <gasps> Mm, I wish you guys could try some. So good. All right, there is the final quesadillas. They look nice and crispy. I got my prenatal and iron on the side. Moses gets his. Oh, well done. Looks so good. And I'm still eating my burrito. <laughs> All right, let's try my quesadilla. This is my older sister. So good. Mm. All right, guys, it's super early in the morning. It's like 5 30 in the morning i get up so early because i go to bed so early but i'm having cereal for glam my glam starts at 7 we're doing hot topics at 10 so i get up at like my body naturally gets me up at five it's on tiktok i actually made my hot topic notes this morning i usually do it the night before otherwise i kind of think about it at night so then i get my breakfast at 5 30 then i shower like six then usually Malibu wakes up and Moses kind of gets his day going. And then glam comes around 7, 7.15. I glam from 7.15 to about 9.30. Then I have a little snack at 9.30. Um, and then I get dressed. And then Oscar comes around 10 a.m. And yeah, we usually start about 10.30. And we end up filming for about pretty much three hours. And then we do our Patreon videos, patreon.com slash just Trish. We do um, an extended podcast. So maybe hot topics we didn't get to on the podcast or ones that we don't necessarily need to like, I don't know, maybe ones that are just more, I guess just the ones that just don't make the cut. <laughs> and then we usually do like a bonus one. We did a mukbang last week and I think we're doing um, reaction videos today. So I have my bowl of multi green Cheerios. So I start off my mornings. And oh, Moses did get fresh bananas. I wanted to make banana peanut butter toast. I'm gonna make it for my snack later. So I love being pregnant. <laughs> it's the only time that I feel like I can just eat when I'm hungry. It's kind of windy out. Um, which is so silly. I feel like everybody should just eat when they're hungry because your body knows. But I don't know. It's like this weird thing where I feel like, and even though I've heard, like, the more you eat, like, you lose weight quicker. You know, like, if you eat little meals throughout the day, like, it's actually, like, you can lose weight that way. But it just doesn't, like, register in my head. However, when I'm pregnant, I do lose weight this way because I eat a little bit throughout the day. So when I have my big meals, I'm never eating, like, a ton of food at once. Like, it makes sense. I see it work when I'm pregnant, and then when I'm not pregnant, I'm like, oh, I can only eat twice a day. It literally makes no sense. It makes perfect sense. But it doesn't make any sense why I can't, like, comprehend that when I'm not pregnant. And I guess that's why I like being pregnant, is because, like, I just feel satisfied. I don't think about, like, oh, what am I going to eat for dinner? Like, am I going to get food? Um, is there going to be enough food? Am I going to eat too much? Like, I just, I just eat when I'm hungry. It makes perfect sense in my head. <laughs> but I love, I love cereal when I'm pregnant. I drink, like, glasses of milk when I'm pregnant. It's just an overall good time. <laughs> and I like having my breakfast early. I like being up early. I get my day started, and then me and Mel almost have the same sleep schedule now. She I don't even take naps anymore. Sometimes she will, but not a lot. But she'll go to bed now at like 6.37, and I'm like, perfect we see it for maybe another like half hour i really try to push like another hour to eight because like i love time with obviously my husband so i really try to push myself it's like a weekend i have to get up the next day for a podcast or something we'll stay up till like nine watching tiktoks um and then i get up at like five the next day anyways which is still eight hours i 
And we have a humidifier, but my nose is always stuffy in the morning. Is this what it is? Mm -mm. Thanks for having breakfast with me. Another non fast food meal. So, this is our breakfast on a budget. Um, we have the wheat toast and the eggs. I feel like eggs are so, like, they got more expensive, but they're, like, so affordable, like, compared, like, when you go out. Getting eggs, bacon, toast at our favorite local spot. We also get French toast instead of avocado. Times to buy two, it's, like, $45. So, that and a half is, like, 20-something dollars. As opposed to, like, eggs for, like, $5. We go to Ralph's. We are not bougie when it comes to grocery. I don't like bougie grocery stores. I don't like Gelson's. Like Bristol Farms has turkey, but I squeeze it. And that's my breakfast. So it's like $6 for a dozen eggs. Our bread is like super cheap. It's like $3 or something. $9, but like it lasts a week. And a dollar. A dollar breakfast sandwich. I guess it's kind of expensive, but this day that I'm eating at home literally will cost me like the lab pasta later, like the barilla. It will cost me like three dollars to eat at home. And like again, I've never been like a budgeter that way, especially with food. I'm like, okay. I make decent amount of money. Like, I like to have good food. But I don't even like to go out to eat anymore. Like, I really don't. Like, I'd rather just have this at home. It just tastes better. But doing this challenge... I, I spend 100 bucks for, like, a day of eating. You know, when I go out to eat. I'm just by myself. No drinks. Nothing. It's, like, 100 bucks for the week or 100 bucks for the month, like just on me personally. I think it's like so doable if this is a $3 eating day. <laughs> and it actually does save money, like it's crazy. Like we are kind of in our saving era right now. And I think I've just spent money so much on so many just like frivolous things that I just don't use ever. That I'm like, I don't really need anything. And it's such a great place to be at, let me tell you. And I'm not shaming spenders out there i get it i was one of you for like 15 years but we like to save now for experiences not to like save if you were to save and never spend money i don't get that like you want to work to like have fun not work just to live you know i get not everyone's in that position but just in general so as much as i love my purses and i do buy a purse here and there I definitely don't go crazy. But back to the eating, it really does save so much money. I was able to save so much money so much faster. But I can't wait to eat, which is crazy. I'm like, well, you know, it's a few hundred dollars a week or whatever, more than a few hundred usually. Let's say a few thousand with Postmates, right? A few thousand dollars a month. Okay. Bath it up, it's like $30,000 a year. So, um, I think that's pretty crazy. And again, I think if I like to go out to eat, like I loved it, I'd be like, okay, it's fine, it's my splurge. But I just don't love it. Like, we go out, we're like out and about. I'm like, where do you want to go to lunch? I'm like, nothing sounds good. So weird. And this was amazing. <laughs> and one dollar breakfast. Hmm. So so good. Guys, this is my lunch for the day. This cost me zero dollars because it's leftover from last night. Leftover big ZD. Love it. So far today, my meal has costed me my eating. It's like noon. 
rating has been about a dollar. So this video is like kind of all about saving. A little bit, right? Because I was never a saver. So I want to teach you guys. Oh, this is so good. But like, share some insight anyways. Not teach because <laughs> I'm definitely not in a place to teach. But share some insight about how like fun saving has been. Let's go sit in and standing right now. I'm like hunched over. Oh, just, I'm a Taurus. Just as much as I love to make money. Okay, I'll see. Saving money has been just as fun as in, and as rewarding. Seeing the numbers like stack up is so fun. <laughs> like whenever I saw a deposit come in, I'm like, yay! Time to spend. Now when I see a deposit come in, I'm like, oh my gosh. Transferring it to savings, seeing last month double is really, really rewarding. It's really fun. My husband hates spending money. It's not cheap by any means. If it's an experience, if it's a night out, like, you know, jewelry, like he'll, he will spend. But he's just smart with like his money, right? He saved it. When I met him, he had more money saved up than me. True story. Um, He's just really smart. And like, I was like, when it came down to gifts, I love my husband more than anything in the whole world. So I'm like, you know, what can I give you, get you? You know, he, he didn't like the designer stuff I bought him. He didn't like the regular stuff I bought him. He's like, I just don't like things. Warm it up so they're steaming a little warm. <laughs> but he'd always tell me, he's like, I don't really like like things like you know like he could always just go buy shirts if he wants shirts you know underwear if he needs underwear whatever and he's like i like to just have money saved for like a rainy day and he always did right when our wedding came up and our honeymoon and i went through financial woes he really pulled through he had the savings he had stuff that we could use but it basically was all used up right i felt bad because i was like i wanted this extravagant wedding couldn't afford it a whole thing um and then everything just like you know things just took a turn for me and whatever and so he's like for me it's just always a comfort to have like a year worth of like bills paid mortgage bills everything for a rainy day and something in case something happens and i've never been that person i was like money's always coming in i spend it whatever who cares but you know whatever so i was like okay that's what's important to him let me show because we have our we have our separate, but both of ours, everything was zero, basically, okay? We have our separate, but everything was, like, zero. And so, I was like, let me just show that I can keep money in the accounts without spending it, right? And it, like, Moses has always been an angel. He's never wanted to tell me, like, don't spend something, don't do this, you know, just, whatever. He's always been great, right? I make money, whatever. But then I got to understand, like, we always talk about getting a lake house, and this boat on a lake, like, and our large lake is like man-made, it's like safe, it's not like a big lake or anything like that. But it's like, the only way we're gonna get there <laughs> is if I paid off my debt and we save money. So I was like, I dream about like the day, like I love Moses so much, you know, where I can give him a gift he actually likes, which is like money in our accounts for a year and like getting this like lake house that we dream of with like our kids and a boat and all this stuff like that. That's it, you know? And so once I started saving and really putting, because I'm like, I love this person more than anything, right? When you love someone more than anything, you want to give them the world. And, you know, some guys want to give your wife, you know, the house and the car and the purses. And, you know, I can provide that, right, for myself. But I'm like that with Moses where I'm just like, I want to give him the world because he gives me the world every day. The way he takes care of our daughter so well. I mean, me, he's like cooking for me. Like just little things, always a gift, always something. And he treats me, he gives me the world every single day. They might be outside playing, you might be seeing them. Um, and I was like, I've always felt short as like a wife. He never makes me feel that way ever. Even as a mom, he's just so much more like, he, he's always been just a, just never runs out of energy, just always full steam with her. Like just playing all the time. And you know, I get tired, I get tired and stuff. So I just always felt not as good of a parent because he's just such a super parent so i was like how do i how do i make him feel like a special and like this like wonderful king that he makes me feel like a queen? how do i do this and i'm like okay he he loves money in the account like security and we want to do we have plans you know we want to like travel and we want to have like a nice house and stuff like that and i was like let's build up towards that together it's something we all enjoy it's not a purse 
it's not like a music video which by the way he's like you know do music videos he's told me he's like if you want to do a music video, do a music video you know and maybe one day if i won the lottery okay that's a slippery soap for me because i don't need my music videos to be good you know what i mean i need a 50k budget <laughs> but 50k now with kids like can take us to all the disney lands in the world you know so when i tell you like budgeting my food made a difference in our savings or budgeting like our food it made such a difference and like the weird thing is is like it kind of just naturally happened because i was just kind of like over going out to eat like i said i went to cheesecake factory yesterday and i was like oh, it's like not good so in a way the universe like made it happen where it's like i'd rather have this just like a home cooked meal from my husband maybe i love that i get to eat like three or four times it's just so wonderful and so great and we get to save money the only reason I'm talking about all this is because I've always been a spender. I've always shown off, like, look at my money, look at my wealth. We have a beautiful house that we own. Want to keep this for life, <laughs> you know. Malibu and Elvis will get it. I want to feel secure. Because I'm not going to lie, most of my life, literally until I met Moses, most of my life, I spent everything made. And I made a lot of money. <laughs> I probably made like $15 million in my 10 year, maybe more, maybe 20 million in my 10 year. And like spent it all, didn't own a house until I met Moses. Didn't know how it worked, didn't know anything. And that's really dumb. So I'm just telling you like, when you're young, I get it. It's fun to spend money. Gosh, I just wish I could have like invested in like property or a house or something because it really does go up in value. But I'm also here to tell you, like, saving can be fun. Saving can be easy. It's also, like, healthier to eat in. I feel like I eat less. I feel, I just feel happier when I'm eating, like, a home-cooked meal. So, for instance, this last night, rigatoni noodles, ricotta, parmesan, prego pasta sauce, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, which we already had. The pasta and the sauce is, like, literally, like, $8.00. I make the whole thing but it actually feeds us like more than once and it feeds us like we get two or three meals out of it um we give leftovers to my mom i don't know don't underestimate leftovers but cutting back on little things like going out to eat really does make a difference i thought it was crazy i was like no <laughs> like it doesn't make that make such a difference and um yeah, it doesn't matter how much money you make. It really doesn't. It's like how well you manage your money. You hear all the time, Michael, J Michael Jackson and Mike Tyson. You know, they they spend all their money, you know. They don't handle it right or whatever. It's just like another reason I'm so glad I found Moses. Because like, I'm like, I really was spending crazy. And like... Again, even to this day, like, if I buy a purse, it's, like, not a big thing. I mean, maybe more so nowadays because, like, we're married or whatever. When I first met him, you know, he never did, like, told me, like, the wedding. He's, like, whatever, the wedding. And he put what he could towards it. And then when we went over our budget, I don't know, just it was a whole thing. I'm telling you, like, the wedding traumatized me, but maybe us. But more so me. He handles things with calmness. Um, It just, you know, we had a budget, went over, but it was a whole thing. Maybe one day I'll tell the story, but just... It got crazy towards the end. If you want to say money, don't have a wedding. <laughs> it was just so expensive and they kind of like scammy. Um, but like I said, we're not... I like to pay people their worth. I like to spend money. Money's a flow. We talk about that all the time like that. It's just like being wise with it and something, you know, your whole family can enjoy. And let me tell you, just having that peace, the security helps me feel better. But also Moses, I just noticed like such a difference. He's just so, and he's always calm and cool. Trust me, through the worst of it, he is stuck by my side. And I'm like, oh my God, I feel so, you know, there's so many things I really screwed up for us. <laughs> early on, early, early on, like right at, like before we even got married. But him just, like, staying by my side through all the, like, hardships and stuff is, like, I love him more than anything. 
and I want him to feel secure. And we really do work together now. It's like crazy. Like we built, like basically the Trish Trish podcast, we basically built from nothing. Like the set, everything that, all of it. We love Oscar too. Oscar's definitely part of the team. But the, but like we literally built that set. He, the, the lighting, the set, the camera. Like I never had that professionalism. And we like kind of built it together. It just kind of feels nice to like build stuff together. I don't know. He's so talented in so many ways. And like even if we weren't like working together, like actually working together, you know, just being partners and raising Malibu. I mean, he's just so amazing. Um, I don't know, you know, again, I feel like he gives me the world. He treats me like a queen, a princess, just puts me on a pedestal like every single day. Breakfast in bed, what meal do you want? Like, let me get it, taking out the trash, just doing like everything. He's just so wonderful. And I'm just like, okay, how can I reciprocate this? Cause I just, I'm just not super, super human like him. And, um, I think this is like the best way. I don't know. It feels good. And I have fun. Like I said, I have fun watching it like grow. I've never, never had that in my life. Isn't that crazy? Like I get money. I spend it. I get money. I spend it. And to those who are sp savers, like I applaud you. If you're saving too much and just like never spending, I think you're missing out a little bit on life. <laughs> Like the people who like literally pinch pennies or something or like doesn't, you know, don't go out to eat or vacate. Like, you know, if you can, if you can afford it, live life too. <laughs> my personal opinion. I think it's balance. And I think I've had so much spending that I'm like, okay, now I'm in my saving era. Can I tell you for real? I prefer this over going out to eat. Even McDonald's has gotten so expensive. It's over $10 for their meals now. crazy anyways even if you don't make a lot of money little ways to save i've seen it on tiktok where people have like those saving binders i've seen people who make like three thousand dollars a month i don't know where they live but end up saving so much money by the end of the year with the way they budget i don't know watch those videos it's not really a budgeting video but if you want cheap lunch leftover food is always it I just go with like weight control and stuff. <laughs> like portion control, like I save half for the next day. Hmm. But yeah. You guys ever think I come on here talking about <laughs> saving money and how great it is? <laughs> and again, I'm coming to you at a place like I know a lot of people like you're rich or whatever. No. There's people who are rich and there's people who make a lot of money, but sometimes they're not synonymous. <laughs> if you were making minimum wage and saving $200 a month, you are richer than I was for the past two, 10 years I've been on social media. You know, that puts into perspective. <laughs> and in general, when you see people spending, Maybe they are loaded. Who knows? But never feel bad. Never compare because you don't know their struggles. And I feel like I'm at a place now where I can be a lot more open with especially my 20s, my finances, just being at zero every month. Because I think it's just like a cautionary tale sort of thing. And I'm not embarrassed by it anymore. Like I definitely would have been embarrassed by it. It's only embarrassing. Like don't get me wrong. It's only embarrassing. Like I can just imagine people clipping this and being like whatever they say. But I think it's important to share. Especially now that we've like dug ourselves out of a hole. And life feels good again. And it's comfortable. It just feels comfortable too. You don't have to like stress about it, you know? Again, I know not everyone can save, but little things you can do, I feel like it does make such a difference. And bottom line. Sure, money can buy some happiness. But, you know, happiness doesn't cost anything either. Love don't cost a thing. It's like, like I said, we've been through the trenches, even financially. And Moses is like love for me. And just like, it just never wavered. You know what I mean? And there, I'm telling you guys, there's been some, there's been some down downs. And 
when you have someone that just like loves you and sticks with you, like, I don't know, the love makes, that's what life is all about, you know? I don't know. But, I don't think you'll ever see me again make a video. <laughs> I was making like $20,000 Louis Vuitton holes. I spent $20,000 at Louis Vuitton. What? <laughs> and can I tell you? I'm pretty sure my vintage Louis Vuitton box got stolen. I can't find any of them. I hope it's in our garage or something. True story, I haven't seen them. And they weren't even in my last house in Studio City. <laughs> I think my move from like Hollywood to Studio City, I don't know if they got stolen or misplaced or what, but I haven't seen them since. And we've gone through all my boxes here. So a lot of those Louis Vuittons are not even around. And that is the thing, right? You get your stuff stolen or you lose stuff. It's like, and then it affects you. And then you're like, man, I worked so hard for all that stuff. That's annoying. But they're just things. And it's fun to shop. I still love shopping. I love getting new things here and there. I always will. But it's moderation. It's like eating, <laughs> moderation, portion control, spending control. It's all about like control. And I actually like lacked so much self-control in my life. I've conquered a lot though. So I think my shopping, my eating, I feel like I'm doing a good job of it. I know I'm eating pasta now. I'm not like eating pasta. But it's better than going to eat like KFC or something. That is. A little bowl of pasta from last night when before I eat like half of the dish, that was like an eighth of the dish. A little progress. <laughs> we finished it. I'm so good. Mom, my mom's coming over soon. I'm sure she's gonna have some of this. It's so good. Pasta is cheap too. We see pasta growing up. And we see pasta all the time. And I love pasta. I guess it's lucky I have like cheap taste. I love pasta. Mmm. All right, guys. Here's my water. I need to drink my water. Take from this what you will. If you're young, it can be really hard to save. You know, I just think of like one or little, two little things I say hit somewhere. Connect, connects or clicks with someone, then that's important. <laughs> oh, yeah, back there. <laughs> Do you see little Malibu? She's playing with the cable. All right, I'm gonna go out there and join them. But, all right, super so saving with Trish. I really have changed. <laughs> if this doesn't show change in growth, even to myself, I'm like, wow, I can have money in my account and not spend it? What? So you don't want the heat to be too high, but, and I cover it because I want to keep all the moisture in. So I want to keep all the, um, you can see how like the water that comes out of the beef and the oil, that becomes part of the sauce because we're going to take the beef out soon. So, um, so yes, it's important to cover it and to not cook it on too high heat because then it will stick to the bottom of the pot. And how long? Until it's ready. So you just look at it until it's all. So basically when everything is this color brown, like you don't have any pink, right? So. Well, it's an estimated but No, you have to look at it. <laughs> Some people might have a little bit of beef. It will take five minutes. Some people have a lot. It will How take much ten. beef do we put in here? The whole thing. <laughs> do we have the packaging of the worst recipe ever? Oh, it's kind of like. So. This is the, we use the 80%, 20%. 20%. So it's the Kroger ground beef. I would show you, but it looks, you know, ground beef looks a little ick when you take it out of the packaging. The packaging looks gross. So it's 80% lean, 20% fat, ground beef, 90 grams of protein, 100% pure beef, no additives, and it's the Kroger brand. And we use this so one all the time. 32. Oh, 32 ounces. <laughs> That's the important but part. We use a lot of meat. You can use half of that for two people. We're, we're... like, this sauce can be enough for how many people we had last? Oh, uh, we had like, with eight. my brother, like nine. Yeah. So it's enough for that many people. <laughs> we do give, we have like leftovers from now, but we do this for the protein. I mean, I do this for the protein because I never eat meat really. 
So this is like the only time I get protein. <laughs> is Moses's bolognese. It smells so good. You haven't put the onions in yet, right? The onions go later. Yeah. This is just oil and ground beef. That's it, just oil, ground beef. It literally smells so good. I Medium never- heat. I never cooked with ground beef ever. I like, never thought I would like it, because to me I was like, mm, that doesn't look good, but it tastes so good. It actually looks good to me now. Medium heat. Keep it covered, <laughs> you wanna keep all the juices. Mm, all the juices in. And then what were we doing over here, Pookie? Do you know that couple on TikTok? <laughs> Have you seen them where he's like, Pookie is looking absolutely fire tonight. And he shows her outfit. The he's, black dress? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, oh, oh, but they do it a lot. I thought they were cookie in there or something. Well, this is how I feel. Okay, here's so, the... So we're cutting the onion. <laughs> you put the ground beef aside in a glass bowl over here. And now we have the finely chopped onions. All right, you guys already know this is my favorite favorite homemade dinner bolognese and it's really inexpensive again a box of barilla some crushed tomatoes ground beef tomato paste and it feeds so much and we have leftovers for days but it's seriously so big and it's like so much protein and yeah we usually have dinner together as a family so i never show these i always just show like my lunches at home <laughs> but pasta what do you think Pasta is such a good way to eat at home. It fills you up and it's just like budget friendly. I don't know. I just really like it though. It's actually my favorite better than any going out to restaurants. So we're watching The Traders and we're having pasta. Cheers.